is Mike Kavna with Out.com and HIVHero.org here at the Pavilion West for the Out 100, where we're going to hear from some of the biggest LGBT advocates and celebrities. Let's check it out. I'm with Curtin Ross, Managing Editors of Out. How are you? Hi, I'm very good. Hi, it's nice to be here. Nice to meet you guys. I love Out Magazine. Get your subscriptions to Advocate and Out. So here we are celebrating the LGBT community and all these amazing people. Yeah. How did this all start? Well, you know, it really, really starts with uh, with the photography and 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 uh, it's five months of organizing these amazing, diverse people together and and getting them to to show up for these photo shoots. And Gavin Bond, our photographer, has worked with us before, and he's so talented. And we really look at who's made an impact this year, who has broken through, who has change things. You know, we had the Pulse event in Orlando and we had the great privilege to go down there and speak to the heroes and survivors there and our allies in the the outgoing uh, uh, cabinet in the White House and Ellen and Tom Ford and Javier Munoz and Tracy Norman and it's just a process of getting them all together and then building a portfolio and and ultimately it's in our hands and it's it's something to be really proud of. I'm with Don. You are like my hero, by the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> At least I'm someone's hero. Thank hey, you. I'm listen, glad. I watch you every day. I love CNN. It's on all the time. Um, how are you feeling today? It's kind of a tough couple days, right? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little tired. My voice is a little, you know, craggy because I haven't had much sleep and I've been doing a lot of talking. But, um, you know, the American people have spoken, so we've got to figure out where we go from here. Yeah, I think it's, it's amazing, but I think we have to kind of come together now. It's been decided. But we need to speak out for our rights to make sure that they're not taken away, right? Yes, we have to come together. But you also have to remember that um, a lot of people did not agree with, you know, who won. Um, that's what happens. A winner, a win is a win is a win. But I think this particular campaign has been uh, so contentious that you have to give people time to heal. And so I think people will come around. Uh, but I just think it's going to take some time. Never stop fighting for your beliefs and your principles and your morals stand up for that but i think that you know everyone should come around and and give the other person or the new person a chance to govern then see what happens Definitely. keep the checks and balances though i agree with you and we're a site for newly diagnosed and people living with hiv do you have a message about the importance of being safe out there and protected yes i do i think people have sort of um you know become a little bit complacent about protecting themselves, wearing condoms, having safe sex, especially with the advent of PrEP and Truvada and those things, people are not being careful. Listen, I grew up in a time where uh, you did not have sex without a condom. There was no such thing as not, not having safe sex. And if you want to do that, that's fine. That's your business, you're with your partner. But just because there is a drug out there that can potentially prevent you from having HIV, it doesn't mean that you should not be uh, safe. On the other hand, if you are HIV positive or you do become HIV positive, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's a disease just like any other disease. Condom. Our slogan is actually condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? Amen. I think condoms are hot and sexy, and especially the black ones. They sure are. Look who I ran into, my favorite dancer in the world, Marcelo Gomez. And you're my favorite guy. Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm so glad. Congratulations. You just uh, won the... Ballet Hero Award at our event. You were amazing. I hope yeah, you had fun. Quite a year. Yeah, it's been amazing so far uh, with Ballet Hero Award and an Out 100. I'm so proud to be in this community and that recognizes me and my, um, my art. Well, it's really important right now, especially with everything that's happened, that we call all artists to create beautiful art because it's part of our community. And here we are celebrating all these amazing artists and activists. And you're one of them now, isn't that great? I, I can't believe it. I used to have this magazine when I was a teenager, so now to be on it, it's such a huge, um, it's an honor. It really is. Congratulations on that. Been a bit of a tough week. Uh, how are you feeling right now? You know, I'm pretty shocked. I'm pretty shocked. It took me a whole day to get going. I think most people in New York did. Um, but a teacher, a ballet teacher of mine, when I came in uh, to take class, he said, there's nothing we can do, so let's plie. Right. <laughs> and we just took class. Right. So that's how it goes. You just have to move forward and uh, see what's going to happen. Let's see. I'm with Raymond Bond. How are you? I'm doing well. It's really nice to be with the community tonight because it's been a rough week. And so just being surrounded by so many LGBTQ leaders tonight is inspiring and needed. 
So you worked with Hillary. It's very disappointing. What do you think we need to do now? I think the most important thing, first of all, is for LGBTQ people to lean on each other for support and inspiration and strength because it's a really challenging time right now. But moving forward, I think it's really important for us as a community and a movement to open up our hearts and try to reach out to people who are currently fighting against us or who don't understand us or who maybe just don't even know us. Because if we vilify, ignore, or demean the people who are not currently with us, we're never going to change their hearts and minds. So I think it's important for us to try to heal some of this polarization that's happening and to reach across the aisle to extend an olive branch and really try to talk to people and hopefully open up some people's hearts and minds who don't currently stand with us. Because Out 100 is a l very important list of all the people who are doing amazing work um, inside the LGBTQ community. And it really it shows the mentors and the people we should be looking at as examples. Hey. So we're a site for newly diagnosed people living with HIV. Do you have a message about the importance of being safe out there and protected? I think it, things have become very lax. And I think it's really important for young people to understand the, implica you know, the implications of that and what a life is you know, to live with HIV and AIDS. And you know, I've lost many friends to it. And I have many friends who live with it. And I, I think that young people need to consider, um, you know, you have to remain safe. And, and you know, you, you have to make good decisions about your health always. I mean, I, there's been so much out support of love in Florida. Um, how are you feeling about the support you've got? It's amazing. I mean, to see the world rally together after such a tragedy was a little bit of salve, salve on the wound, right? Yeah. 120 million people donated to the GoFundMe page for the Pulse Victims Fund. And three quarters of Americans did not endorse the bigot ticket on Tuesday night. So that means that the majority of Americans believe in love, they believe in compassion, and they believe in equality. And it's not us versus them, it really is we. It's about us. So here we are at Out 100, you're a definite role model, one of our, the fans' favorites and winner. But here we are celebrating artists and wonderful advocates and and the people have really made a difference. Isn't it fantastic? Oh, this is amazing. I mean, there's a lot of positive energy in this room. I feel the great vibes, man. That's awesome. So what is your plans? What are you doing? Where can we see you coming up? Well, I just did my show at Caroline's Comedy Club for the New York Comedy Festival, which was amazing. I'm still working on my uh, stand-up documentary, A Queen for the People. And um, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll probably be, I'm, I'm going on tour with Christmas Queens and the Season 8 tour. So I'm going literally all, I'm going to Brazil in two weeks. I'm, I'm everywhere. That's awesome. Well, we love you. Thank you so much for being such a positive role model, for being an advocate for our community, and you're wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, let's embrace. Okay. Here we are at Out 100. What do you think? Uh, I think I'm really happy to be out and part of this 100. I'm a New Yorker. I grew up here. Uh, I'm just a Puerto Rican kid from the Bronx, and you know, I've, I've, I've come so far, and so I'm happy to share this evening with everybody. All right. I'm here with my friend. Matt Breen, how are you? I'm, I'm very well, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. This is what's so great about having events like this where we celebrate the wonderful advocates and the people that have done so much for our community and that we'll continue to do that so that we can fight to keep the rights that we have and get further ones, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, the, the putting together the issue is an enormous task. It's a big challenge, but it's a real privilege to just look at all the names of all the people who have done amazing things over the past year um, and, and think about how we can celebrate and elevate them and write about them and photograph them and meet them. That's always a pleasure. And then as many as can get here tonight to, to meet them in person again and, and celebrate with them. It's like, it's, it's a tough task, but it's always a pleasure. Secretary Clinton, uh, the voters spoke, but I think we need to mobilize. We need to be prepared, uh, whether it's on LGBTQ rights, uh, the environment, uh, women's rights, uh, we have a lot of work ahead of us to protect what we've already gained over the last eight years. Do as do you, a community to to fight for these rights. We need to prioritize and and decenter the gender binary in our in our work as trans people. We have to start talking about how gender nonconforming people and gender nonbinary people 
are at so much at the heart of this. And we have to start talking about our trans elders. And we have to start talking about trans young people. And we can't keep prioritizing trans people who pass beautifully. We have to talk about those who are more mid-spectrum or who are who are low income, who are most vulnerable. We have to start talking about trans people of color and centering those narratives. But tonight we're here to celebrate LGBT people like you who are, are helping our community yes, and, and we, doing something. We are celebrating the LGBTQIA, all of it. And I'm happy to be here. Out Magazine uh, are great advocates, and I'm I'm excited to be here. Well, thank you for all your support, everything you do. Thanks, and let's, and keep fighting. Remember, we oh, can be heard. This is the time to donate to charities that benefit homeless LGBT youth because there's going to be a lot more of them coming up, especially in this election. So Ali Fournay Center, Bailey House, the Trevor Project Suicide Hotline, give back to these organizations. They need us now more than ever. I agree with you. Thank you so Great. much, Marty. You know, but everybody's got to get together. I work at the White House. It's been a tough, you know, couple days, to say the least. But getting everybody together and getting, you know, finding out what's important to you, getting out and voting, getting out, getting behind our candidates, you know, who support us so we can support them, lifting them up, lifting our friends and family up, um, going out and educating people who maybe don't support us as much as they should, you know, about why it's important that they support us, you know, things like that, like really just getting out there, not running and hiding, not, you know, getting behind uh, or not, you know, sticking your head in the sand or pretending it didn't happen, but being out, being proud and saying, you know what, we're going to make sure this doesn't happen again. That's right. Now get your, get off the couch and do something. Volunteer, donate money, rally your friends and make a difference. We can be heard and we can change things, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I'm so glad you're here. And tonight we're celebrating all these amazing people. Is there anyone here that you're excited to meet? Oh my God, I was going through the list and I, I, I couldn't pick. They're, they're all amazing, inspirational people. It's, 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 it's exciting to be here tonight. I'm here with Mel from RuPaul's Drag Race. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm fantastic. You're looking unbelievable. Thank you. I decided to wear a little pastel when everybody else would be in boring old suits. Look, we're all in black, and here you are, a splash of gorgeous. Yes, Hannah Quist on Instagram. She designed this. So Shout okay. out. Yeah. So here we are at Out 100. Why is it important for you to be here? It is important for me to be here because, wow, that's such a pageant way to say it. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, it's important for me to be here um, because I, I think it's an extremely great gathering of people within the LGBTQ community to get together and start fires and start a revolution and just talk about things that we need to accomplish within the next year. I, I know this, is, this party happened at the perfect time because we all needed to get together and uh, we're stronger together, and we need to remind ourselves that, and we need to take steps forward every second. I'm with Gina, one of the most amazing choreographers of our time. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Here we are at Out 100. I'm so glad you're here. Why is this event important to you? Well, I am a proud lesbian, and I would have been proud to be here any night, you know, just to be celebrating the accomplishments of, of other out members of the community. But I think tonight it's especially poignant given what's happening in the world. It's just more important than ever that we come together to celebrate each other and our accomplishments and what we, what we intend to manifest in the world.